and it's vlog time. So I actually asked on Twitter if anyone really wanted to kind of, you know, see a behind the scenes thing. And it was a unanimous, no, it wasn't unanimous. It was literally kind of like as close as what the Brexit vote was. So about 55% to 45. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do it anyway, because today I kind of woke up, it's Saturday. I decided, you know, to do something productive, but I really actually couldn't be bothered to do anything productive. But I thought it'd be a good idea to do something anyway. And then I walked into my studio and it kind of looked like this. So I thought I'd you know, give you guys a bit of a kind of behind the scenes kind of thing because I wanted to make a video, but I didn't really have anything to make a video about. So instead I thought, okay, I'll tidy up. Why not make a video about tidying up? And it will give you a bit of an insight as to what goes on in the Technic Studios. So this is basically dilemma number one. So as you know, we have kind of all the shelving units full of stuff. So we've got all of our peripherals up here. Uh, and then we have obviously power supplies, various different brands. We've got the behemoth, the mammoth, 1200 watt. I don't know why I'm stroking it. But we have the 1200 watt MIJ master watt maker. The annoying thing is they sent this to me and I haven't actually used it for anything yet. So if anyone's got any ideas on how I can use the Master Watt Maker, it still makes me laugh, Master, the Cooler Master, Master Watt Maker, Master, Master Maker, Master. 1200 Watt MIJ, this is like the one that's made in Japan because apparently if something's made in Japan that makes it like a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, all the power supply stuff, we've got all of the AMD Ryzen stuff. So for all the people I guess out there who say that, you know, we love Intel lots, well, there's one Intel box among lots and lots of AMD ones. Uh, more power supplies and then just a load of crud. So there really is just crap everywhere. This is kind of what I need to sort out today. Then we have all of our motherboards. Now motherboards were kind of across these three shelves here and then I discovered that I have some really really old school motherboards laying around. So I've got a Sabre 2 FX79, I've got a Crossblade Ranger, Maximus 7 Ranger, kind of newer stuff over here. But I was like, where the hell are they going to go? So what I've actually done is I've condensed all the kind of peripheral stuff that's up here. So I've actually moved some of the motherboards up here. That way I've kind of got, you know, a little bit more space. So we've got all the ASRock stuff together. We've got the ASUS stuff up here. We've got Gigabyte and Aorus, uh, MSI, and then a few kind of, you know, super micro boards or super O, whatever you want to call them. Then as we kind of flip around, obviously we have other stuff. Uh, so we've got all of our AIOs, all of our air coolers, more AIOs, and then we... Again, at the top just had this kind of blank void. There wasn't much there. There was actually all this acoustic foam. This is gonna make audio sound better. And you can see I've actually started building up on, on this wall over here. And yeah, it looks pretty good. So I decided, well, let's strip all that away and make a little bit more room. There's, there's two more Intel boxes. Two more, so that's three, three Intel. Three Intel boxes. Among kind of all of these AMD ones. So, you know, we always get told that we're a shill all the time. I mean, the NVIDIA boxes, yeah, maybe maybe we're NVIDIA shields, shills. There's not that many AMD. I think I've got the Sapphire RX 570. Then I've got two Vega 64s there. I've got another Vega 64 somewhere. But yeah, the rest is NVIDIA. So we get sent a lot more NVIDIA cards. It's just not that NVIDIA like us more than AMD or anything like that when it comes to the graphics card side of things. It's more that AMD haven't really had anything to release. But you know, we've got AMD processors, 2950X, and a nice thread ripper box and everything up there. You can get a little, little bit OCD when it comes to sorting things like this out. So, you know, do you go brand order? So at the moment, you know, I have all my ASRock boards together. I have all my kind of Zeus ones kind of together across multiple shelves. Gigabyte ones will go together. But is it easier to just, you know, maximize the space, play Tetris a little bit with it and kind of, you know, put things in here, there and everywhere. I've basically got to sort this out. So I've got all of these boards, all of these products. I mean, you can just see behind me, there's just literally stuff everywhere. And I guess I've got today to sort it out. Um, again, with the, like, the Mayhem's cooling, uh, pastel fluids and stuff, I had this kind of across two shelving units, but I'm trying to maximize space because I have an office as well, and that is completely just full of stuff. I need to kind of clear that out and try and maximize it and put it in here. And hopefully, you know, I'll be able to use some of these older products in the future for content. So if there's anything you want me to do with kind of old products, let me know. See, now this is where it gets a little bit crazy. So I've got a level 20 XT and a level 20 GT. 
damn it, yes, GT. So level 20 GT, and then this is kind of, <laughs> this is all my stuff from CES. So CES happened about three weeks ago, and I haven't even kind of cleared it out yet. So yeah, I'm kind of the worst person in the world and should be sorting that out. So here's a Philips monitor, which um, is being used with Ellie's build. So Ellie's my seven-year-old daughter. We've been basically building a computer together and we have a video of that coming out very, very soon. And then we have the, the kind of cupboard of things to do. I haven't got to do toilet tissue, I want to make that clear. Um, but all the other stuff is kind of things to do. So we still have the Obsidian 1000D, still waiting on a lot of parts for that. I uh, have some kind of a Zeus stuff coming up with the Thor and the Re, Re, Ryu, Re, Ryu, yeah. Currently waiting for this to dry out. This was for a build with the Lancor 1. And um, we still need to get some component shots, but it's really annoying. It's just not drying out properly. So I thought I'd stick it in here because technically this is an airing cupboard. Um, it should be a little kind of the warmest place in the house in terms of humidity and stuff like that. But yeah, it's still kind of just sitting there like that. Loads of other stuff going on. Uh, this is really cool. This is a chassis which you, you can actually convert from ATX to micro ATX. It's called the Morpheus from uh, Rio Toro. So I've got, got, you know, lots and lots of stuff coming up very, very soon. I've uh, got some nice EK stuff coming up as well. So all of that's going on. And this is where the magic kind of doesn't happen. So this is just, I mean, look, just it's a mess. So this is why I kind of need to sort things out because I have so much stuff going on at the moment. It's just kind of getting a bit unreal. Uh, I've got my Zephyrus laptop, which sad panda time, it's broken. Uh, the keyboard has, has actually stopped working, which is really frustrating. So that needs to get replaced under kind of RMA. This, <laughs> this is what Azus sent me the other day. You probably saw loads of stuff on Twitter about this, the ROG building block. This is pretty cool, or at least I thought it was until I figured out kind of how small everything was, which is just ridiculous. And this is kind of how far I've actually managed to get. Yeah, it's not great. And I think I actually made a mistake. So I kind of have to strip this back down and do all that all over again. Then we have a few things coming up from Western Digital. So they sent us loads of their black drives, uh, loads of their six terabyte hard drives. And then I actually have another box down here with Seagate drives in that are very, very similar. 14 terabyte drives. I, I believe there's eight in there. I haven't even got around to kind of opening it up and seeing what's inside. But that's what's going on. Uh, more motherboards that need to go on the shelves, which these are probably the easiest thing. I just need to kind of clean them off, make sure that everything is there and that they kind of, you know, look good and hopefully they still work. But this is the bit that's kind of a bit restrictive. So under here is just piles of old graphics cards. And these can't go on the shelf because they haven't got boxes. They are literally just graphics cards. So everything from, I think that's a 780 Ti back there. And then I've got like other older cards. So we've got 7850 AMD cards. And I've got two of these just full. And I really don't know what to do with them because I can't really do much with them because they don't have any boxes. And then I've got just more stuff sitting kind of, well, here, as you can see. So everything's kind of a bit out of place at the moment. Everything's a bit kind of all over the place at the moment. And it's getting a bit frustrating. Um, I was looking into renting office space, but the cost of where I live for renting office space is ridiculous. It's like 20 square meters, which I believe is less than 100 square foot for like 420 pounds for the month, which is about 700 US dollars. It's absolutely crazy. So that kind of gives you an idea as to what's going on. Um, I guess now I'm gonna, well, attempt to actually tackle this wonderful mess that is upon us. I'm actually waiting on a new test bench as well, because as you probably saw, um, this one isn't, well, the greatest. It's a pretty good test bench as far as test benches go, but it doesn't really gel that well when it comes to custom loop. So sticking a radiator on here, I mean, you can see it's a bit, just not great. And then we got the pump over here. It's just, it's very, very big for something that should be relatively easy um, to do, but we're waiting on a Praxis uh, for Primo Chill, but there's been some problems with shipping, American companies shipping over to the UK, yada, 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 you get the idea. Uh, so there you go. So guys, I actually thought I'd get a little bit further along than what I actually have. As you can see, it's dark outside now, and well, the place still looks like an absolute pigsty. Uh, I will show you what I have done though. So I thought it'd, it'd really be best to kind of, you know, maximize the height of the room. So now we've got the motherboards up there, peripherals kind of all stacked together instead of kind of flailed out and whatnot. Power supplies haven't really been touched. We've added a few down here, the Aorus one and the Azus one, which were in another cupboard. Um, added, you know, sort of a few more motherboards and everything down here, and then the processors kind of all together. There was a few processors kind of up here in their nice presentation boxes. So that's pretty much it really for that side. I've now got a few more shelves kind of free down here to, you know, do stuff with. 
I've been trying to organize kind of this drawer as well, trying to make it a bit more stuff that I need on really a daily basis when it comes to like building computers. I mean, not so much this stuff, but screws and, you know, screwdriver, cloths, knife, all that kind of stuff. So trying to keep kind of organized there. On this side, really, the GPUs have not been touched. I've added kind of, you know, a few water block boxes for GPUs and stuff like that. But coolers, again, we've tried to kind of maximize the, the ceiling and, you know, what's kind of available up there. We have got, you know, some big, big stuff that I don't even know how it's going to go in. So this is the M360 uh, water cooling kit from Thermaltake. Basically everything that you need in one box for hardline or rigid tubing uh, custom loops. So we have actually released a video on that, so be sure to go and check that one out. I'll link to it uh, in the description below. So I've got a lot of fans to kind of deal with from various different brands. You've got no fans! everything from kind of you know AeroCool, Corsair, Deepcool, Inwin, uh, NZXT, some Noctua stuff, a whole host of, uh, of Cooler Master fans which is just redonkulous uh, and then some more behind it, Lian Lee Bora, all that kind of stuff. I still need to find somewhere to put my R RTX 2080 and 2080 Ti coolers because obviously they're now off there's one of them with a water block on it. So yeah, I was hoping to get maybe a little bit further along with things. I mean, I still need to find like where to put things like this or my fittings and stuff because, you know, that takes up quite a lot of room to be honest. I mean, it might not seem like it, but there you go. So I guess before anyone kind of got in there with a the comment saying, what is the point of this video? There really is no point. I was literally here on a Saturday. I had to tidy up, so I thought, well, why don't I try and make a vlog kind of video? A lot of people have been asking me for kind of vlogs and stuff like that, so I thought, let's do it. Probably wasn't the best idea, don't even know how this is going to come out. I'm not the greatest at filming and I'm not the greatest at editing. That's why I hire a guy to do it and you can probably see why our B-roll looks, you know, absolutely amazing. Nothing to do with me. I'm just the face, the guy who's on the camera and kind of go like that basically. Working in this industry, everyone thinks it's great. Look, you get all these products. Look, how can you complain when you have kind of, you know, all this RTX cards and X399 and Z390 and the problem is room. I'm gonna carry on and maybe I'll put some pictures up on Twitter once this is actually all tidy and you guys can kind of get a general sense as to kind of what's going on in here and you know, how much space we have to work with. And let me know if you like vlog type videos. If you do, then obviously I'll do some more showing you, you know, kind of the ins and outs. Maybe the next one will be based on kind of the camera and camera equipment and stuff that we use, the lighting, the RGB lights that are here, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So let me know if this is the type of video you like and maybe I can do some of that in the future. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know exactly what to do and I will see you in the next one. See you later, bye bye.